fish have been on the Earth for over 500 million years long before even the dinosaurs roamed the planet. There are over 25,000 species more than all the species of amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals combined. Keep reading for more facts and information on fish. A fish is an animal which lives and breathes in water. All fish are vertebrates, have a backbone, and most breathe through gills and have fins and scales. Fish make up about half of all known vertebrate species. Fish have been on the earth for more than 500 million years. Fish were well established long before dinosaurs roamed the earth. The 25,000 known species of fish are divided into three main groups. There are three classes of fish, jawless, cartilaginous, and bony. All fish have a backbone. It is estimated that there may still be over 15,000 fish species that have not yet been identified. There are more species of fish than all the species of amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals combined. Fish are cold-blooded, which means their internal body temperature changes as the surrounding temperature changes. 40% of all fish species inhabit fresh water, yet less than 0.01% of the Earth's water is fresh water. Tropical fish are one of the most popular pets in the U.S. Some fish like sharks don't possess an air bladder to help keep them afloat and must either swim continually or rest on the bottom. Some species of fish can fly, glide, Others can skip along the surface and others can even climb rock. Fish have a specialized sense organ called the lateral line which works much like radar and helps them navigate in dark or murky water. The largest fish is the great whale shark which can reach 50 feet in length. The smallest fish is the Philippine goby that is less than one-third of an inch when fully grown. Fish have excellent senses of sight, touch, taste, and many possess a good sense of smell and hearing. Fish feel pain and suffer stress just like mammals and birds. Fish eat other fish, fish eggs, mollusks, aquatic plants, algae, zooplankton, terrestrial insects, water birds, turtles, frogs, snakes and mice. A person who studies fish called an ichthyologist. In some species the males and females have different shaped bodies or different coloring, in other species there is no visible difference. Fish are some of the most interesting and varying types of animals in the animal kingdom. What makes a fish a fish? All fish are cold-blooded animals that live in the water. They have backbones, fins, and gills. Types of fish Fish come in more varieties than any other group of vertebrate animals. There are 32,000 different species of fish. There are three major types or classes of fish including jawless, cartilaginous, and bony fish. An example of a jawless fish is the lamprey eel. Sharks are cartilaginous fish and the blue marlin is a bony fish. Fish vary in all sorts of colors and sizes. Fish can be as large 40 feet long to 1 half inch long. There are some animals that live in the water and we may think of as fish, but really aren't classified by scientists as fish. These include whales, dolphins, octopus, and jellyfish. They breathe water all fish have gills that allow them to breathe water. Just like we use our lungs to exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide from the air, the gills of a fish perform a similar function from water. So fish still need oxygen to live, they just get it from the water instead of the air. Where do they live? Fish live in nearly every large body of water in the world including streams, rivers, ponds, lakes, and oceans. Some fish live on the surface of the water and some live in the very depths of the ocean. There are fish that live in fresh water and others that live in salt water. What do they eat? Some fish eat plant life. They may scrape algae off rocks or eat plants that grow in the ocean or sea. Some fish, called predators, prey on other fish and animals. The shark is a noted predator that hunts for prey. Other predators lay in wait for their prey by hiding in the sand or rocks in order to ambush their prey. Groups of fish A group of fish is called a school. Some fish gather in schools so they are harder to catch. A predator will get confused when attacking a school and sometimes can't catch any fish at all. A loose grouping of fish is called a shoal. Biggest, smallest, fastest the biggest, or heaviest. Fish is the ocean sunfish which can weigh as much as 5,000 pounds. 
The longest fish is the whale shark which has been known to grow to over 40 feet long. The fastest fish is a sailfish which can swim as fast as 68 miles per hour. The smallest fish is the dwarf goby at only 9 millimeters long. Fish as pets A lot of people like to have fish as pets. There are special aquariums and food you can get to take care of your fish. They can be fun to have and also beautiful to look at. Although they are fairly easy to take care of as pets, you will need to do some work. You need to keep the aquarium clean and make sure to feed your fish the proper amount each day. Fun facts about fish whales can't swim backwards. A jellyfish isn't really a fish. A few fish, like the spotted climbing perch, are able to breathe oxygen from the air. Many fish have an internal air bladder that helps them to float. Those that don't, like sharks, must swim or they will sink. Baby sharks are called pups. An electric eel can produce a powerful jolt of electricity of up to 600 volts. Distribution Bony fishes inhabit almost every body of water. They are found in tropical, temperate, and polar seas as well as virtually all freshwater environments. Some species of bony fishes live as deep as 11 kilometers, 6.8 miles, in the deep sea. Other species inhabit lakes as high as 5 kilometers, 3.1 miles, above sea level. About 58% of all species of bony fishes, more than 13,000 species, live in marine environments. Although only 0.01% of the Earth's water is fresh water, freshwater fishes make up about 42% of fish species, more than 9,000 species. Habitat Bony fishes live in fresh water, sea water, and brackish, a combination of fresh water and salt water, environments. The salinity of sea water is about 35 ppt, parts per thousand. Some species can tolerate higher salinity environments. Some species of gobies can tolerate salinity levels as high as 60 ppt. Fishes live in virtually all aquatic habitats. Different species of fish are adapted for different habitats, rocky shores, coral reefs, kelp forests, rivers and streams, lakes and ponds, under sea ice, the deep sea, and other environments of fresh, salt, and brackish water. Some fish are pelagic, they live in the open ocean. For example, tunas, several species in the family Scombridae, subfamily Thunani, are pelagic fishes. Some species, such as the flatfishes, order Pleuronectiformes, are adapted for living along the bottom. Certain fishes, such as gobies, family Gobiidae, even burrow into the substrate or bury themselves in sand. Ocean sunfish, family Malidae, are most often spotted at the ocean's surface. Some lungfishes hibernate throughout a summer drought season, buried under the mud of a dried-up pond. Several fish species live in freshwater habitats in the darkness of caves. Depending on the species, bony fishes can live at various temperatures. Some live at extreme temperatures. Some desert pupfish, Ciprinodon macularius, live in California hot springs that reach temperatures greater than 45 degrees Celsius, 113 degrees Fahrenheit. At the opposite extreme, some species of bony fishes can survive freezing temperatures of the Arctic and Antarctic. Certain glycoprotein molecules present in the blood of these specially adapted fishes lower the freezing point of the blood. The Arctic cod, Boreogatus sata, can survive temperatures as low as minus 2 degrees Celsius, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. In general, fishes rely on oxygen dissolved in water for respiration. Some species of bony fishes require large amounts of dissolved oxygen. The brown trout, Salmo trutta, requires up to 11 mg of dissolved oxygen per liter, 11 ppm, or parts per million. Miscernus fossilis, a type of loach, can survive in water with an oxygen concentration as low as 0.5 mg per liter, 0.5 ppm. Mudskippers, family Periophthalmidae, can carry a small amount of water in their gill cavities. They commonly spend time on land, returning to mud holes when their water supply begins to evaporate. African lungfishes, subclass Dipnoi, gulp air into a lung for respiration. 
In fact, these fishes must have access to the water's surface or they will drown. Migration Most bony fishes have small home ranges. Some species of bony fishes migrate great distances. Food and habitat availability, reproduction, environmental cycles and temperature change may be causes of migration for some species. Almost all tuna species are migratory. Albacore, Thunnus a lalunga, migrate across the Pacific Ocean from the coast of California to the coast of Japan, more than 8,500 kilometers, 5,270 miles. Data from albacore tagging studies indicate that they travel an average of 26 kilometers, 16 miles, per day. Tagged northern bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, have migrated 7,700 kilometers, 4,774 miles, across the Atlantic Ocean in 119 days, about 65 kilometers, 40 miles, per day. Billfishes, family Istiophoridae, are highly migratory. A black marlin, Macara indica, that was tagged and released off Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, was recovered off Norfolk Island in the South Pacific, more than 10,680 kilometers, 6,622 miles, away. Some bony fish species are diadromous, they migrate between fresh and marine environments. Some fish are catadromous, they live in freshwater environments but migrate downriver to the ocean to spawn. The freshwater eels, family Anguillidae, develop in marine environments then move into freshwater rivers to live. Anadromous fishes live most of their lives in the ocean, but migrate into freshwater environments to spawn. The sockeye salmon, Oncorhynchus nerca, may travel more than 3,600 kilometers, 2,232 miles, up the Yukon River to spawn. Fish are a class of aquatic vertebrates. The combination of gills, fins, and the fact that they live only in the water make fish different from all other animals. Fish spend all of their lives in the water and are cold-blooded with the exception of tuna family and the mackerel shark family. Scientists believe that there are more than 24,000 different species of fish in the world. They range in size from the largest, whale shark at 16 m, 51 feet, long, to the smallest the 8 mm, 1 fourth inches. Stout infant fish Most fish have a skeleton made of bone but some, like sharks, have a skeleton made of cartilage. 10 Fun Facts About Fish 1. The amazing spotted climbing perch is able to gulp oxygen from the air and can crawl over land using its strong pectoral fins in search of water. 2. Did you know, American lobsters have longer lifespans than both cats and dogs, living over 20 years. 3. Catfish have over 27,000 taste buds, whereas humans have only 9,000. 4. What is the loudest fish? The answer is, the croaker. 5. What percentage of a fish's size is made up of brain? Fish typically have quite small brains relative to body size compared with other vertebrates, typically 1 15th, 0.06%, the brain mass of a similarly sized bird or mammal. 6. Did you know, fish can get sunburn? but it is unusual unless there is something about their environment that does not allow them to seek deeper water or some kind of shelter. 7. Which kind of fish can live in the coldest temperatures? The answer is the Antarctic ice fish, which have antifreeze in their blood, live permanently at minus 1 degree Celsius. 8. Is it true that a fish surrounds itself by its snot to protect itself? Yes, parrotfish produce a mucus tent that completely covers them. 9. Did you know that fish have a specialized sense organ called their lateral line, which works much like radar and helps them navigate in dark or murky water? 10. It was not until 1853 in London, UK, when aeration and filtration of water was understood, that people were able to keep fish as indoor pets.